Hello students. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about the properties of life. As a scientist, what do we call life? The first property of life is order, or as we like to call emergent properties. So basically what this is, this is just the hierarchy of organization in the environment. For example, we hit if we look at the big picture, we got the whole world or the biosphere. And then as you shrink down, it gets smaller and smaller until eventually we get down to atoms and molecules. Another property of life is ad evolutionary adaptation. So sometimes this can take many years, such as humans when we came from apes. Or sometimes it even can be fast. Um, in regards to the rabbits, they're actually um, adapting to their environment, so it means it's a pretty quick adaptation. So, for example, a rabbit in a more temperate climate will have a more brownish color to it, and a rabbit in a colder climate will actually have white fur. So that's the difference between that. Another property of life is response to the environment. A good example is irritability. It's the response to immediate response, such as a nerve impulse. And just to give you a couple examples of nerve impulses, we got positive response. This is movement towards the stimulus. So for example, if your st stomach says that you're hungry, you go eat food. A negative response would be movement away from the stimulus. So if you put your hand on like a hot burner, you'll pull it off right away. That is because that's known as a negative response. Um, another response to the environment, as we talked in the last slide, is individual adaptation. It's a slower response. <clears throat> response. It's actually, in this, in this example I have here, it's a DNA response where we came from uh, apes to humans. Another one is regulation. Maintain homostasis. This is the idea that organisms try to maintain their outside and inside their body. They try to stay in equilibrium with one another. So example, like I gave earlier about eating food. You now you try to eat food so your body will have energy and you also when you get too hot you sweat so therefore you're trying to maintain a constant body temperature. Another property of life is energy processing. So all organisms do what's known as metabolism or metabolized, chemi metabolized chemicals so what it is, is it's just chemical reactions that occur in a cell. So a couple examples, waste outtake and nutrient intake or eating and pooping is another way to look at it. Another one is enzymes that categorize a chemical reaction. Another property of life is growth and development. So aging is what we're talking about here. You know, as you get older, unfortunately, you get more wrinkles. And then as a caterpillar does, it actually creates a cocoon and then becomes a butterfly. The last property of life is reproduction. This is the ability to pass genes off to the next generation so that way the population will stay afloat. All right, so that's the seven properties of life. Just an overview of each one. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.